Hey everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I want to show you a powerful AI platform that can help you complete all kinds of work you can possibly imagine. But before we get into it, let me ask you something. How many different AI tools are you currently paying for? For me, it's $20 for ChatGPT Plus, and then another $20 for Gemini Pro, and that's not even counting other specialized tools like Cursor, Midjourney, and many others. Now, what if I told you that for just $10 a month, which is less than the cost of most of these AI tools, you can get access to the latest AI models and features all in a single platform. No more jumping between 5 or 6 different apps, and you don't have to move information between platforms. Well, let me introduce you to Chat LLM. So, for the past few weeks, I've been trying out this tool that's essentially an all-in-one platform providing all kinds of AI features that you can imagine of for just one low subscription cost that is cheaper than paying for all the other platforms separately. Now for disclosure, this video is sponsored by ChatLM, but they gave me complete freedom to share my own honest thoughts and opinions, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. If you want to try out the platform or follow along as I explore it, you can check out the platform at chatllm.abacus. AI, I will leave the link in the description as well. But of course, there's no obligation to sign up for the platform. I'm just going to show you the most helpful features, and if you think it might help you out and save money, then perfect. With that being said, let me show you why I think ChatLM is such a great deal. So from the Chat LLM landing page here, just click on the Get Started button over here to sign up for access. And once you are logged in, here's the main interface of Chat LLM. It features a chat box where you can interact with the AI, and just below the chat box, there are options showing what you can do with Chat LLM, such as generating images, code, playground, a presentation, do deep research, and many more as shown here. Now, one interesting feature in this page is the Route LLM at the top here. Basically, Route LLM allows you to select the AI model that you want to use. You can just pick one that you like best, or you can let it automatically select the model best suited to the task. Now, let me show you an example. Just skip this option at Route LLM, and then click on this button to ask the AI to generate Python code for Fibonacci series. Now, pay attention over here. You can see that Route LLM is selecting Cloud Sonnet 4 to handle this request. That's basically how Route LLM works. It will point to the best AI model for the task you want it to do. Once the response is generated, Route LLM also offers several models that it thinks can do the task well. You can select one of these if you're not satisfied with the result. And now, let's try a new chat. And here, I'm going to select the fun fact about Rome option. And here, we can see that Route LLM decides to use Gemini Flash 2.5 to complete the request. Uh, let's try one more time and select the HTML landing page option here. Now, Route LLM handles the request using GPT 4.1, which asks us for more detail about the landing page I want to make. For me, this Route LLM feature is super useful as I don't have to subscribe to many providers to access different AI models such as Cloud 4 or GPT 4.1. I can select the one I want to use manually, or just let Route LLM select the best model for the job. Next, I want to show you how to chat with PDF, which is one of the most common use cases for AI. Here, I already have a PDF document that contains a fictional story discussing the future impact of AI. The story location is in Paris, and it follows a discussion between a tech enthusiast and his mentor. So if I want to chat with this PDF document, all I need to do is to drag this document into the chat box, and it will be attached as follows. Now, I can ask questions like, can you give me the summary of this PDF? Press enter and let chat LLM process the request. This time, it uses GPT 4.1. And here's the summary of the PDF. The discussion generally talks about how AI will impact healthcare, education, and the job market. Now, suppose I wanted to edit some words from this PDF, Chat LLM can absolutely do that as well. All you need to do is select the More option down here, and then click Doc again to generate documents. Here, I will say change the name Danny to Johnny, and Mr. Thompson to Mr. Richards. Submit the request, and Chat LLM will now use Python code to extract the content of the PDF, perform the requested changes, and then give back a Word document as shown here. Let me download this file, and then open it on the computer. And here's the modified document. We can see the names have been changed from Danny to Johnny, and Mr. Thompson to Mr. Richards, which is pretty awesome. 
Next, let me show you how to generate images in Chat LLM. By the way, you can also close the sidebar by clicking on this icon at the top, just in case you want to have the chat window in full screen. Okay, so to generate images, you can click on the image option just below the chat box. Here, you can select one of the image models provided by Chat LLM. We have all kinds of open source and premium models here, such as SeaDream, Flux, Midjourney, DALL-E, and many others. For now, I will use Midjourney as I feel it's the best image generation model. We're going to use version 7 here. And then for the prom, it will be a fantasy painting of a majestic dragon sleeping atop a vast horde of treasures. The rest is just details such as the dragon scale, the dragon slayer, and so on. And now I will click the generate button. Chat LM will take a while to process the request, so I will skip a bit to when the generation is finished. Okay, so the images are finished over here. Midjourney gives us 4 images of the dragon. You can click on any one you like best. And then you can download the image with this button. You can also see the exact prompt for this image over here. And then if there is something you want to change, you can click on this pencil icon. And in this menu, you can perform in painting by selecting parts of the image you want to change. And then send a prompt to the AI again. But I think this image is good enough as it is, so let's close this edit window for now. Alright, now I will show you how to generate a video using Chat LLM. First, you need to select the video again menu which you can find from the more option here, and then you will see the options for video generation. You can select the model you want to use, there are low cost and premium models over here such as Cdance, VO3, Kling AI, and many more. Now keep in mind that premium models such as VO3 cost us a significant amount of credits, but there are cheaper models like Kling AI or even HiLuo2 here. So let's try out HiLuo2 for now. I will try to animate the sleeping dragon image I generated before, so I will select the image as the start frame over here. For the prom, I will just say dragon sleeping peacefully and then click generate. Now the AI will process the request and since video generation will take a while, I will skip ahead to when this generation is finished. Okay, so here's the video generated by Hyluo2, so let's try to play it. Okay, it seems the dragon is about to wake up from sleep here. And that's it for this video generation. Again, with ChatLM, you can generate all kinds of videos with the most popular AI video models available today without having to subscribe to each provider individually. Next, if you want to do some research and pull information from the web, you can also do so by clicking on this web icon. For example, I will just ask what is ChatLM over here and then press enter. Now, we can see that ChatLM will perform web searches and then scan the result before giving a response. And here's the answer based on the information from the internet. There are also links if you want to know more about the topic you're searching for. So if you use AI to search the web often, this feature will be convenient to have. Now, if you're a developer or builder that often deal with code, the next feature that I'm going to show you will be incredibly valuable. When you're subscribed to Chat LLM, you also have access to Code LLM, which is an AI-powered IDE similar to GitHub Copilot, Cursor, or Windsurf. To download Code LLM, you can simply click on the Code LLM button down here and then select the version for your operating system. I'm using a MacBook, so I will download this one. And once installed, here's the main interface of Code LLM. Since Code LLM is based on VS Code, you will immediately find it familiar if you have used either VS Code, Cursor, or Windsurf previously. On the left side, we have the file explorer and the sidebar menus. And at the center, we have the file editor. On the right side is where you can chat with the AI. You can switch between chat mode, in which you can ask questions without modifying any files, or agent mode, in which the AI have full access to your code base. So here, I will just ask the AI to create a landing page for a SaaS company, and then press enter. Now, AI will take a moment to fulfill the request. So while it's going, notice that down here, you can select the model you want to use with code LLM. Currently, it uses Cloud for Sonnet, but you can also use all other models like Gemini, Kimi, GPT, and so on. By using code LLM, you can save the money you paid for AI-powered IDE like Cursor. And here, code LLM already finished the request, so let's open this HTML file on the browser. And here's the landing page generated by code LLM. It has the hero section, features, pricing page, reviews, 
and call to action. So yeah, Code LM comes for free with Chat LM subscription, and it's very useful when you have to deal with code to complete your job. And finally, I want to show you the Deep Agent feature from Chat LLM. Deep Agent is an advanced AI agent that can basically do all types of complex tasks. It can build apps, write reports, create presentations, and connect to external services to perform agentic tasks. To access Deep Agent, you just need to click on the Deep Agent button on the sidebar here. You will see a chat box similar to Chat LLM, and below that there are examples of all kinds of tasks that the agent can do. It can perform research, create presentations, create a website for registration, and many other tasks. You can click on any of these examples to see the prompt used to instruct the agent, as well as a step-by-step -step video guide. You can click the Try It button here to run the example, and if you need more inspirations and ideas on what you can do with Deep Agent, you can select specific examples here as well, such as creating apps, and then short videos, AI apps, MCP and workflows, and so on. You can also do deep research using this agent to create a comprehensive report. Uh, let me just show you how it works. I will just ask the agent to provide a detailed report of how sleep really affects your brain, focus, and mood. Process the result as a PDF. Press enter and let the AI process the request. And now, the agent asks for more detail regarding this report, such as what level of detail do I want for this report, any specific aspects to focus on, and the intended use of this report. I will just answer academic style, general report, and just for educational purposes. Now, the agent will begin to work on the request. It will also gather information from the internet as you can see here. And then after a while, it will analyze and summarize the information it can find. And here's the report. It has both markdown and PDF format. So I can download the PDF format by selecting the file menu over here download the PDF file, and then let's open it. So here's the research created by Deep Agent. I think I will read this later. But overall, that's how Deep Agent works. It can do so much more than just generating a report, but I can't show you its capabilities one by one, or this video will go on forever. If you want to learn more about Deep Agent, just let me know what use case you want me to cover, and I will try to make a video on it. Now that we have seen the most useful chat LM features, you might be thinking, how much of these features can I use for just $10 a month? Will that start rate limiting after a few conversations? Well, I have that question as well, and I want to go over it really quickly because I think it's very important. So for the price of $10, chat LM will give you 20,000 credits every month. And please note that credits are not tokens. More credits will be used for more expensive models. For example, 20,000 credits can give you 50 million input tokens for premium models like Sonnet 4. But if you use more affordable models like Dipsic or Kimi, then you can get up to 70 million tokens with 20,000 credits. You can also get up to 500 images and 45 second videos with the given credits, so it really depends on how much you use it. If you start generating hundreds of images and videos per day, then you definitely will need to buy more credits. And yeah, that's how Chat LLM calculates the usage. You can track the credits spent from inside the platform. Uh, personally, the allowance is enough for my daily usage. You can test it out for just one month to see how much you're using it. So overall, that's how Chat LLM works. You can create images and videos, chat with PDF, generate documents, do development works in Code LLM, create reports, custom apps and websites, uh, virtually anything AI can do, you can do it in Chat LLM. And if you're working on a team, you can also invite your team members to Chat LLM so that they have access to the same chat sessions, agents, apps, and services. If you're already paying for any AI tool, whether that's ChatGPT or Claude, then trying out Chat LLM for at least a month would make a lot of sense, as you can get access to all models, including all future releases, for just $10 a month. And that brings us to the end of this video. So, what do you think about Chat LLM? Go ahead and check out the platform at chatllm.abacus.ai or just click the link in the description. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.